DSAM Tutorial Overview. This module introduces you to the JDSU DSAM tutorial, including overall of the tu tutorial, terms and concepts you should know, how to navigate through the training, who to contact for additional information. The JDSU Digital Service Activation Meter, or DSAM, performs traditional and advanced tests for your on-site installation and service of high-speed data and video. The JDSU DSAM incorporates state-of-the-art DSP, digital pro signal processing, DOCSIS, and analog technology to test cable modem services, digital video, analog video, packet cable, VoIP. The JDSU product line includes many models with a variety of features and options. The fundamental operation of all models in the family is similar, and learning the basic functionality will enable operation of any DSAM. The DSAM 6300 will be used in this tutorial as an example of how all DSAMs generally operate. Some of the features or options described in this tutorial may not apply to your DSAM. Click here for more information on features provided in each of the DSAM models. Upgrading the meter can be as simple as downloading the file from the internet and installing it on the DSAM using optional DSAM PC utility software. This tutorial provides information to help you effectively use your DSAM. This includes initial setup instructions, configuring the meter, and executing the functions of the meter. Supplementary files provide safety information, procedures for cloning DSAM meters, sources for additional technical assistance, the product warranty, equipment return instructions, and specifications for the meter and its power components. There are eight modules in this tutorial, as well as additional reference material in PDF format. The introductory modules include Module 1, this module, Introduction to the DSAM Tutorial, Module 2, DSAM Overview, an overview of the DSAM features, connections, the battery, and the charge LED. Module 3, Working with the DSAM, using the keypad, function keys, and menus, entering data, and viewing the information screens. And Module 4, Configuring the DSAM, general configuration options, editing limit sets, and creating and editing a channel plan. Once you are comfortable with using the DSAM and have configured it for your cable system, the next modules in this tutorial include Module 5, taking basic measurements, using auto test and taking level, mini scan, and other basic measurements. Module 6, taking DOCSIS measurements, measuring service to and from the head end. Module 7, taking advanced measurements, using the constellation screen and measuring the upstream and downstream spectrum, and Module 8, using the access screens, using the browser option, working with folders, syncing to the optional FDM software, and testing web access. In addition to the training modules, further information can be found in printable PDFs. Available PDF files include Instructions for cloning a DSAM, DSAM safety instructions, procedures for getting technical assistance, instructions on how to replace the protective lens, warranty information, equipment return instructions, and DSAM specifications. In order to effectively perform digital cable installation and service with the DSAM, you should be familiar with digital and analog signals and measurement concepts. DSAM Overview This module introduces you to the JDSU DSAM including DSAM Feature Description DSAM Power and Connectivity Features Charging the Battery Connecting the DSAM Interpreting the Charge LED the JDSU Digital Service Activation Meter, 
or DSAM incorporates state-of-the-art DSP and DOCSIS and Euro DOCSIS technology. The DSAM will connect to the CMTS to check for installation of the service of high-speed data, digital video, and analog video services. To verify suitable conditions for your cable modem installations. The DSAM is equipped with signal level meter capabilities, including spectrum scanning for ingress assessment and mini scan analysis of up to 12 analog and or digital channels. The meter's auto test capability makes installations easier and more reliable than ever before. You can save results of the test for further analysis and archiving on a PC. KDSU has incorporated exclusive DSP, DOCSIS, and analog technology to enhance usability and provide significant flexibility as additional feature becomes available. Upgrading can be as simple as downloading a file from the internet and installing it on a device using optional DSAM PC utility software. Click here for a summary of features in the various DSAM Roll your mouse over each of the highlighted sections of the DSAM for more information. There are three ways to provide power to your DSAM. DC power from the charger module connected to an AC power source, DC power from the battery alone, or DC power using an optional DC power cord. The nickel metal hydride battery lasts three hours. The lithium ion battery typically lasts 4.5 hours. The new high cap battery typically will last seven hours. Press the power key to use the standby mode. The unit will take less current. Eventually the battery will run down even in the standby mode. About 20 minutes before the battery will lose its charge, the unit will power itself off automatically. Recharge with the plug charger or car charger. A steady red LED on the battery module means it's in the fast charge mode and maximum charge is being delivered to the battery. A steady green LED on the battery means the fast charge cycle is complete and the battery is ready for use and is maintenance and is in its maintenance charge mode while attached to the charger module. A flashing red LED means really the battery related error or defect detected or a min-max cell voltage or battery temperature is out of range. Now you will power on the DSAM and navigate using the mode, arrow, and enter keys. You will use your mouse to simulate the operation of the DSAM. Move the mouse to position the cursor over the appropriate button as directed and left click the mouse to simulate pushing the button on the DSAM. Press the power key to power on the DSAM. Press the configure mode key to display the configure menu. Press the down arrow three times to highlight the about me selection. Press the enter key to select about me. You are going to enter the name TJ Jones into the My Name field. Notice that the My Name field is highlighted. Press the Enter key to select the field. Notice that the 8 key contains the letters T, U, V. Each time you press the key, it cycles through the lowercase letters, the uppercase letters, and then the number. To enter an uppercase T, press the 8 key four times.
Now press the 5 key four times to enter an uppercase J. Press the space key to insert a space after the TJ. We will enter the next two letters for you. Because the N and O are on the same key, you need to press the right arrow key to move the cursor to the new position. Press the 6 key twice to enter an N. Now that you've seen how to enter text, we'll enter the remainder of the name for you. To finish entering the text, press the Enter key. The employee ID can only be entered by FDM software. Press the OK soft key to return to the menu. Let's go back to the About Me screen. To edit the text in a selected field, press the left arrow to erase one character. Press the clear key to erase everything in the selected field. You can press the one key to access a variety of special characters such as dashes and the at character. Most of the DSAM screens have menus or options at the bottom of the display. These menus and options are specific to that screen and correspond to the soft keys right below the options. This screen has two soft key options, OK and Cancel. For example, if you make an error on this screen, you can cancel the work you have done by pressing the Cancel soft key. This will return you to the previous screen. The shift key provides additional functions when used alone or with the DSAM function keys. Each function key has a blue symbol that indicates its function. For example, let's access the DSAM help screens. First, press the shift key once, then press the 5 key. In addition to using Shift-5 to access the help screens, here are other primary function key combinations that you'll use. Press Shift once to activate the four soft keys with measurement functions. Press Shift twice to turn the display backlight on and off. Press Shift and 7 to change the screen contrast. When you are in a graphical measurement screen, Shift-9 Auto Scale sets the screen for easier readability. Shift Asterisk is a wildcard for entering file names into text fields. Shift and the 6 key accesses information screens as you'll see. The status information screen contains the current time and date, the date the meter was last calibrated, the date the meter was verified and tested to ensure that it meets Acturna specifications, the temperature of the unit, and the amount of available memory. Press the Details soft key. Details information screen contains the meter serial number, internal software version, hardware version, battery type, QAM conformance specifications, and the MAC address of the DSAM. Press the down arrow to display the remaining details. Cable modem MAC address, MTA MAC address, To view the Options information, press the Options soft key. This screen shows the options that are installed on the meter. This meter has the browser, 
field view and RSG for field view options installed. Configuration of the JDSU DSAM including general configuration options, editing limit sets, building and editing a channel plan, additional configuration options. To assure reliable measurements and enhance ease of use, you must accurately configure your DSAM. Properly configuring the meter to your working conditions and your data management needs will enable you to take full advantage of your DSAM. To access the configuration menus, press the Configure Mode key. There are four configuration soft keys, each with a menu of options. The configuration soft keys are General, Measure, Channel Plan, and Access. We will take a look at the general configuration options first. The first four options on the general configuration menu are Contrast, Sounds, Battery Conservation, and About Me. Roll your mouse over each menu option to learn more about it. The next four options on the general configuration menu are date and time, printer, ethernet network, and RF network. Roll your mouse over each option to learn more about it. The next four options on the general configuration menu are connection, regional preferences, security, and choose a utility. Roll your mouse over each menu option to learn more about it. The last two options on the general configuration menu are clone and diagnostic. Roll your mouse over each menu option to learn more about it. Now that you've seen the general configuration options, you will practice using the DSAM to enter configuration information. In the next section, you will edit the configuration of the limit sets. Limit sets can automatically alert the technician of measurements that occur outside established parameters. Limit sets can be modified for various locations in the network where you commonly take measurements, for example, the cable modem, ground block, TV, and tap. Limit sets will be different at different points in your drop. For example, the ground block should have a higher video level than the TV. Next, you will practice editing limit sets. Follow the steps in the instruction box. Assume the meter is already powered on. To access the Limit Set Configuration screen, press the Configure Mode key. Press the Measure Soft key. Press the Enter key. To edit a Limit Set, first make sure the appropriate Limit Set location is highlighted. Use the arrow keys if necessary to select cable modem for this example. Press the edit soft key. Press the down arrow key four times to highlight the min digital level. Press the enter key to enable editing. Press the clear key. Use the keypad to enter the new value minus eight. and press the Enter key. If you entered any parameters in error, you can set the values back to the default setting by pressing the default soft key. If you want to discontinue editing the limit set parameters without saving any of your changes, press the Cancel soft key. When you have finished editing the limit set parameters and want to save your changes, 
press the OK soft key. Let's take a look at the DOCSIS throughput configuration. We'll highlight the DOCSIS throughput option and press the Enter key. The downstream HTTP server address is where a file for download is located. The address indicated in the graphic is an Acturna server and may give you slower throughput readings. The best place for a throughput test file would be on your network at the local head end server near the CMTS. There are several other DSAM configuration options you may want to set. First, let's look at the other settings measurement configuration found on the configuration measure menu. Click on the other settings option to learn more about it. Generally, you'll take all of the defaults on this screen. The next important step in configuring your DSAM is setting up your channel plan. The DSAM will scan your cable system and automatically search for channel signals greater than minus 10 dBmV. It begins scanning at 50 MHz and continues through the frequency entered as the upper bandwidth. Digital carriers sometimes appear lower than minus 10 dBmV and the meter will not capture these channels in the channel plan. Make sure you have a good level when scanning for channels so that all channels will appear. Otherwise, you'll need to manually enter them. Next, you will practice building a channel plan, then editing it. Follow the steps. The meter will display the screen from the previous section. Assume the meter is already connected to your cable system. To access the channel plan menu, press the configure mode key. Press the channel plan soft key. To begin building a new channel plan, press the down arrow key twice to select the build new plan option. Press the Enter key. Notice that the current channel plan name is automatically entered. You could enter a new plan name. We're going to replace the existing channel plan named Apogee Cable with a new plan. Press the Next soft key. Press the Yes soft key. Next, you will select a channel plan template. These templates are based on the defaults for different countries. For the United States, you would select NCTA. Press the next soft key to select the NCTA channel plan template. The DSAM will scan for channels beginning at 50 MHz up to the stop frequency you enter as the upper bandwidth. The DSAM defaults to 900 MHz. We will use this value. Press the Next soft key. Press the Start soft key. Press the OK soft key. To edit the channel plan you just created, press the up arrow key twice. Press the enter key. Press the plan soft key. Press the enter key. If a channel uses sync suppression scrambling, 
the video carrier level will appear lower or unstable. Edit the channel to identify it as a scrambled channel. Press the Edit Soft key. Press the down arrow key six times. Press the Enter key. Press the down arrow key to highlight Yes. Press the Enter key. Press the OK Soft key. Press the OK Soft key again. We are going to edit channel 83. First we need to find it. Press the channel soft key. Press the enter key. Use the keypad to enter 83. Press the OK soft key. Notice that channel 83 is shown at 577.250 MHz as a TV carrier. The meter did not pick it up as a digital carrier. Next we will edit channel 83. To change channel 83 from analog to digital, press the edit soft key. Press the enter key to edit the type value. Press the down arrow key three times to select digital. Press the enter key. Press the OK soft key. Notice that the DSAM automatically changed the channel 83 frequency to 579 MHz and modulation to 256 qualm. By default, the carrier may register as 64 qualm. You can change it to 256 qualm if your system is different. Also notice that in the US, we are using Annex B for the qualm standard, and the symbol rate is 5.361. If you change the symbol rate, the DSAM will not lock on the signal. To save the changes you made to channel 83, press the OK soft key. Next you'll practice changing the channel to DOCSIS. To change channel 85 to DOCSIS, press the down arrow key twice to highlight channel 85. Press the edit soft key. Press the Enter key to edit the type value. Press the down arrow to highlight DOCSIS. Press the Enter key. Press the OK soft key. Notice that channel 85 now shows up as a DOCSIS channel and the frequency has been updated. As with digital channels, by default, the carrier may register as 64 qualm. You can change it to 256 qualm if your system is different. If you change the symbol rate, the DSAM will not lock on the signal. If you have more digital carriers, you'll edit those the same way. You can either select the channels from the channel plan list as before, or use the next and previous soft keys to move from one channel to another. To wrap up your changes to the channel plan, press the OK soft key. Press the done soft key to complete editing the channel plan. Press the done soft key to complete editing the downstream plan. The DSAM auto test, which you will learn about later, allows you to automatically test specified cable TV signals to a certain specification you define. The auto test option on the configure channel plan menu 
allows you to set up your auto test parameters. The cable modem, DOCSIS auto test, checks DOCSIS modem channels only. The combo auto test checks video and DOCSIS channels. The video channels auto test checks analog and digital video. Roll your mouse over each configuration option to view an example of the configuration screen. On the configuration access menu, you can select WFA browser settings. Browser settings allow the DSAM to access the internet using the browser option by either an RF setting or Ethernet setting. You can also enter a particular website address by entering its address via FDM software. This completes Module 4, Configuring the Meter. Connect the RF cable to the meter. Verify that the DSAM has been configured to conduct measurements. The DSAM can perform three types of user configurable auto tests. The combo test combines both the video channel's auto test and the cable modem auto test. The video channel's auto test measures the level of a series of analog and digital video channels. The cable modem auto test verifies upstream downstream connectivity, ranging, and quality of a series of DOCSIS channels. Now you will practice running an auto test. You will run the cable modem auto test. Follow the steps in the instruction box. Assume that the DSAM is powered on and connected to the cable modem's RF cable. Press the Auto Test Mode key. Press the Down Arrow key twice. Press the Enter key. Next you will select a limit set and start the auto test. Press the Down Arrow key. Press the Start Soft key. The cable modem auto test summary displays an overall pass-fail result and the pass-fail result of each downstream DOCSIS channel tested. Press the detail soft key. When more than one downstream DOCSIS channel is tested, Previous and next soft keys appear to allow you to view other tested channels. Press the summary soft key to return to the cable modem auto test summary screen. The DSAM measure mode has three soft keys, basic, service, and spectrum. In this section, you will practice taking basic measurements, level, mini scan, full scan, and tilt. Follow the steps in the instruction box. To access the measure menu, press the measure mode key. Press the enter key to select the level test. The level measurement screen displays the test result and the limit set that was tested, the channel that was tested, the video level, the audio level, and the delta between the two levels.
The four soft keys, File, View, Limits, and Settings, display additional menu options. Roll your mouse over each of the soft keys to learn more. The Miniscan measurement displays carrier levels of up to 12 channels on a single screen. The results can be viewed on a graph or in table form. After taking a level measurement, a fast way to jump to the Miniscan is to select it from the View soft key menu. Next you will run a Miniscan. Follow the steps in the instruction box. Press the View Soft key. Press the down arrow key three times. Press the Enter key. For a clearer view, let's change the display from 5 dB per division to 10 dB per division. Press the View Soft key. Press the down arrow key twice. Press the Enter key. You can use the left arrow and right arrow keys to see the levels for the other channels in the mini scan. Press the right arrow key. To change the channel selection of the Miniscan, press the Settings Soft key. The display lists the channels in the current channel plan. The selected channels have a check mark. Generally, you'll select channels about every 100 MHz and include some digital channels. Now add a channel at about 305 MHz. Press the down arrow key until you have highlighted the channel at 301.260 MHz. Press the select soft key. We're going to select a digital channel for you. Press the done soft key. You can view the levels of a single channel or view the details of the Miniscan in a table. From the View Soft Key menu, the Single Channel option takes you back to the Levels test and shows the level measurement for that channel. Now you will select the Table View to see details of the Miniscan. Press the down arrow key three times. Press the Enter key. The table view lets you note the actual levels of each channel. Channels that are failing are indicated in bold with the circle symbol. Press the Graph Soft key. Let's view a full scan by selecting it from the Measure Modes Basic menu. This feature is not available on the DSAM 1000. Press the Measure Mode key, press the Down Arrow key, press the Enter key. The Full Scan options are similar to the Mini Scan options. You can use the right arrow and left arrow keys to see the levels for any channel. From the View Soft Key menu, the Single Channel option takes you back to the Levels test and shows the level measurement for the selected channel. The table option shows the measurement details of each channel in a list format. From the Settings Soft Key menu, you can select Show Audio to view both the audio and video levels. Press the Settings Soft Key. Press the Enter Key.
Let's take a tilt measurement by selecting it from the Measure Mode basic menu. Press the Measure Mode key, press the down arrow key, press the Enter key. This completes Module 5, Taking Basic Measurements.